Hey everybody, welcome into my studio and I've got a new video out, it's three hours long showing you exactly how I draw this really detailed, realistic and super cute baby lemur in pastels. And I wanted to share with you on YouTube just a quick two minutes out of it showing how I do the blocking in with pan pastels because lots and lots of you ask me about pan pastels. So I hope this is of use. Okay, so I've got a couple of pans out in the grey shade, some of them are a little bit uh, more blue grey like a Payne's grey some are more a uh, neutral or cooler grey and lots of people ask me about pans I've mentioned in other videos but some may be seeing me use these for the first time the tool I'm using there is called a soft tool I think it's S O F F T for the soft part to make it a little bit unique when you spell it so you can find it easier on the searches and um, it's just a very soft, um, funnily enough, a very soft kind of a sponge actually on there. And I like this shape because I can turn it on a side, get into all different angles, all different corners. So I'm going to start doing exactly the same technique on the head. And you can see how I position these, um, this little soft tool as well, just so that I can get into those fine little areas. It's surprising what you can actually do with this. And I'm not going too light yet. It's critical that I don't want to go too light because I want to overlay my light strokes on top of this. But also critical, I don't want to go too dark. So you may think, well, why doesn't he just use the dark gray he's got on the top of the head and put that all over the face if he's going to put light on top of it with pencils anyway? Well, the thing is, you can only go with pencils, you can only go so much lighter than the underground you've put on there. So if you want to get a very vibrant white, you want to not go too dark underneath. And now the dark pans are coming in around the, the nose, the eyes, the mouth. Now he's starting to really come alive and you can see the character coming out all of a sudden. If you're looking for more art resources, I've really got you covered. I've got a dedicated tutorial website, that's jasonmorgan.co.uk. Lots of videos on there, ebook tutorials, you name it, it's on that site. I've got a Patreon art channel. So every month I put up brand new videos, and that could be pastel videos, oils, charcoals, the full length videos and there's also photo references with the Easy Trace line art on there. I've got quite a few hundred people supporting me and that's on Patreon. And also if you have to even more reference photos, I've got a dedicated website just packed and packed with reference photos. I think there's about 900 on there at the moment. So that's wildlifeart-online.com. Now please, with my YouTube channel, new videos coming on here as well. If you can possibly subscribe to the channel, then you're never going to miss out on new videos.